Oh gosh, I hope I don't look too gorgeous for you. Hi, it's Tuesday and we're doing something completely different. Every once in a while when I'm in like a rut or I just need some like creative inspiration, I do something that's completely out of my comfort zone. The past couple weeks on Tasty Tuesday I've been doing cut creases and you guys have asked me to do a tutorial and I am honored. I am so much not an expert, but that is very reminiscent of the beginning of Tasty Tuesday. I just have a desire to learn. I like to learn new things that make me go, Whoa, I did that? And that's how Tasty Tuesday was born, and that's how I started learning how to do a cut crease. I've only done a cut crease four times. Um, we're gonna try a couple different kinds today. I've only done one of the kinds. I've only done a full cut crease with a halo inside. I'm gonna show you that one, and then I'm gonna try to do a different one that's just like, like just a cut crease with like some glitter or something like that. I don't know how it's gonna turn out, we are going on an adventure together. Let's make this dish. The dish is me in this case. Hi Franklin. Franklin's gonna help. I'm gonna start by putting my hair back in a cool little bun. Oh my God, I'm so cool. I'm so sorry if I'm too cool. The first thing I'm gonna do is my brows. It just will make or break your face and I really don't wanna break my face. I'd like to make my face. So I'm gonna start with brows. Am I really gonna do my makeup in this viewfinder right now? I guess that's what's happening. No, I can look in the mirror. Oh, sick. What am I doing? I have like... I have a mirror. Can you see me if I go like this? Oh my gosh, you can see bags upon bags. That's fun. If you're wondering, this is Anastasia's Brow Wiz in dark brown. I like to outline my brow shape and then I like to fill it in with a different thing. Then I take this uh, brow pencil from Carity. They sent this to me in my P.O. box and I really, really like it. So that's what I've been using. This is in taupe. And oh my gosh, look at that. My brows must be on the Philip DeFranco show because they've just been filled in. You've just been filled in. Also, remember when thick brows weren't a thing? I was born with such thick brows, such thick, beautiful, Instagrammable brows, and I destroyed them in the 90s because you weren't supposed to have thick brows. And uh, they never grew back from that all the way, but they used to be like this. Can't believe I did that. I'm so sorry, brows. Okay, this isn't about brows though, okay? This is about a mother fucking cut crease. I'm trying not to swear as much because the algorithm hates that, but I love swearing. I love it. It just perfectly expresses how I feel. Next, I'm gonna do an eyeshadow primer. This one's actually almost gone. I hope it still works out for us. Please work out for us, eyeshadow primer. Next, we are gonna get into this. So we're gonna start with these just like matte neutral colors right here. There's only three matte colors in this whole palette. It's this one, this one, and that one. And we're gonna use all of them because why not? We're all here. Also, I don't know what my brushes are called. I don't have a million brushes like a lot of makeup pr people and they're all very old and don't have names on them anymore. So I know this was a MAC brush from like the early 2000s and it looks like this. And if you know what kind of brush that is, good for you. And I'm gonna use this color, Mixed Media. I'm just gonna get like a nice ass, creamy ass base going. And this side too. All about that base, about that base, about that base. I keep forgetting I can use mirrors and not this viewfinder. And that's so sick. That's good, great. Next I'm gonna use this brush. Who the hell knows what it's called? It's from Smashbox and it was from 2009. So it's red and it's fluffy. And that's all I know about it. And I'm gonna put it in uh, this freaking one, wall art. Yeah. And I'm just gonna put it right in my crease. Other thing is, um, because we're making like a fake crease, we're gonna go like all the way up here with our shadows. Okay, cool. Yeah, that looks good-ish. I'm not bragging, I'm just saying like we chill. Then I'm gonna grab some of that black that I was talking about earlier right here. And I'm gonna put it even more in the crease. And I'm gonna use this brush also from MAC um, in the early 2000s, and I don't know what it's called. Figure it out if you want it. Look, ooh, if I do the palm thing, do you figure it out better? I'm also really bad at cleaning my brushes, so this is probably full of other colors. But right now, it's about to be filled with black. Once you get filled with black, 
your brush does not come back because it's very hard to remove. And I'm just gonna go right there in the crease. But we're gonna come up a little further, like I said, so up above your natural crease. And I'm just gonna really blend it, okay? Good, we got it. I'm gonna leave this side alone because we're gonna do something different on this side. So there are a lot of different techniques for doing a cut crease. Not just a lot of different styles, but a lot of techniques. But with all the techniques, they include finding a flat, like synthetic brush. This is the one that I'm using. It's from e.l.f. I believe. Yeah, it's a concealer brush. Oh cool. And we're gonna put concealer on it. So that makes sense. And the first time I saw someone do a cut crease tutorial, they just went in with concealer and like did a perfectly good line. I could not freaking understand how to do that. I'm using Tarte's Shape Tape. I'm gonna leave a link to the video that I first saw do this because this is the only <laughs> way that I've been able to do it is instead of going up here right in to do a cut crease, you put it on your like right above your lash line and you just like go right like right above your lash line right here like as if you're using it as a fat sloppy eyeliner oh yeah so fat so sloppy and then you just look up and look around and then look at oh shit i got it on my i got it on my eyelashes but don't pay attention to that the splatter that was from my eyelashes pay attention to this arch that is what we want i'll get rid of this part later but right now i just wanted to find that that shape so i'm gonna go in with more concealer and i'm really gonna lay it on thick and this is another part that i didn't understand the first time um is you want a lot of concealer for this I had heard conflicting information like, oh, if you use a lot of concealer, then it's gonna crease. But if you don't use a lot of concealer, then it doesn't even get defined. Use a lot of concealer. I mean, don't get like super wet with it, but like, you know, get kind of wet with it. Not porn star wet, but like, oh, we're on our honeymoon wet. I'm just gonna take that same base color that we originally had and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna set it. Yeah, that's what it's called, set it. I'm gonna set it. Then, I'm gonna take this brush. It's like a, I don't know, some other eyeshadow brush. Also from MAC, also from the early 2000s. Doesn't have its freaking, its label on it anymore. And I'm gonna wet it with this like, spray i guess it's like a setting spray i don't know i've just seen people wet it down it doesn't really matter you could wet it with water i bet i'm just gonna put it into what color what should we do oh let's do this inspiration one here it's like just a shimmery shim i'm gonna put it just like right in the middle of my arm i don't know why i turned into a muppet but that happened all right, so I put that right in the gosh darn center. And then um, because I'm wearing purple, I think I'm just gonna do a purple shade. I've never done these colors together. This is the first time. We're doing the first time. It's a virgin time doing this. I'm using the same brush with <laughs> the same makeup on it. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just using the same brush. I don't care. I don't care. I don't need your judgment. I don't need it. I'm not a beauty influencer. I'm going on the edges with this purple. Ooh, yeah. I'm gonna wet this again. Honeymoon wet. And then I'm just gonna kind of blend, blend it on the sides. Ta-da! And that's it. That's all I've learned. We're gonna take some like little tiny freaking brush. I feel like I had a good one for this and I don't know where it went. I probably threw it away because of that Marie Kondo thing. I was like, this doesn't bring me joy. And then I found these tutorials. I'm like, oh man. I could have really used that. We're gonna use this one instead. This is like an eyeliner brush. Um, I'm just gonna get like a little bit of that black again. Just like a teeny bit. And then I'm just gonna go in like and redefine. Yeah. And I think this makes a big difference. Then, just gonna take uh, that crease brush and blend it out a little bit. Okay, beautiful. What a queen. And see how it's like above my natural crease? If I had put this in my actual crease, this fleshy part would have covered it. And then it would have been like, where's your cut crease? You don't have one. Mm. I'm so sorry, you're not a bitch. What next? Put on some freaking foundation, you know? I'm gonna do some primer. This is a uh, Double Duty Beauty from Tarte. It's 
smells like coconuts and I like that. I like coconuts. Don't at me. I also have this Tarte face tape, which I really have been digging. It is like a full ass coverage and I didn't used to use foundation for many, many years. In fact, any makeup tutorial you've seen with me, I'm usually like, oh, I don't really use foundation because I don't like it because it's like heavy. But then when I got off the birth control pill, I started getting cystic acne again. And now I have like scars from having cystic acne on my like right here area. And so now I actually need foundation, which is a freaking bummer. Okay, I'm over you. Beauty blender, blend some beauty into here. Can we get some beauty in here, please? Thanks. Just blend it on in with the ugly. And like, no, I didn't wet my beauty blender either. How do you feel about that? Are you cringing? So I'm gonna take this shape tape and I'm gonna put some concealer down. And I don't know if this is the order that we're supposed to do things, but this is how we're doing it. I'm trying to avoid this half of my face because we haven't done this side yet, but... I don't, I don't know. Oh my God, it is Tasty Tuesday, we're baking. I don't know if I bake correctly. It is Tasty Tuesday. I always feel like it kind of causes more creases than it had before, but you know, whatever, we did it. So I'm probably doing this all out of order the wrong way. You can yell at me in the comments, but while this is baking, I'm gonna go and get some uh, more purple. Yeah, I'm gonna get some more purple. I'm just gonna go wild. And then I'm also gonna grab some of this, um, this one, graphic because it's like black and purple. And what does it do? I've never used it. Ooh, wow, look at you. And I'm gonna come all the way out here and I'm gonna do like a little, like a little outer V right in front of your face. How do you feel about that? I'm just gonna blend it with this thing. Yeah, 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 wow. Look at that. Is this done baking? We don't know. Did I do it? I don't know. So this is probably trash, but let's put some highlighter in. That same thing that we did in the middle there, I'm gonna use it on like underneath my brow. Can I do that? Are you okay with that? But I didn't wet it this time. So this is like the non-wet version. Like you're on a dry spell. Your boyfriend broke up with you, but you still shimmery, girl. Don't forget that you still shimmer. And then I'm gonna take an eyeliner. Are you ready for this? We're about to do a wing. Are you even ready? How did it come so fast? <laughs> That's what she said. That's why they broke up. Oh man, I left it in the car. What is this? Is this an eyeliner? Ooh, you know what else? I'm gonna take this uh, Urban Decay Psychedelic Sister that I never get to use because it's purple. I'm gonna put on my waterline because I'm freaking crazy right now. Do you even see me? I'm freaking nut. I'm out of control. Wow, that is Psychedelic Sister. Ooh, and I'm also gonna put this in the corner right here. Oh yeah, oh yes. It kind of reminds me of like a trapeze artist, someone that works at the circus. But you know what, we're gonna keep going. Okay, so usually I use a different liquid liner, but today I'm gonna use this Tardis. What are you? It's a pencil on one side, and then it's a liquid brush on the other side. Isn't that neat? It doesn't create as thin of a line as I like it to be, but we're gonna just do it anyway. Also with hooded eyes, I like to go out and up, out and up, because otherwise the hood of my eye cuts off the wing. So that's one way to do it. And yes, I will finish the makeup on the side of the face, but I'll do that last because first I wanna do this side, which I have been dying to try, and I have no idea if it's gonna work out or not. I've only seen it done on tutorials, but I haven't ever attempted it or tried it at all in any capacity. So we started this one, right? I'm gonna go in with uh, another like medium, what do they call it? Transition color with the same fluffy brush. No, I didn't clean the other color off of it. I mean, I guess I could go like this on my hand, but I, I don't know, I just don't do that. And I don't really care either. I don't care who knows it. This is gonna be, I want a lot of color up here this time because we're gonna make this part blank. We're making the lid nude. <laughs> it's 
so naked. That's fitting with this palette, wow. Look at, oh my god, I dropped everything. It's a completely different color purple. Yeah, I feel like that's more of a red than a purple. Do I have any purple purples? <gasps> Ooh, look at this one. Ego. It's a purple purple. I wonder if that would go with the red that I just put on. Let's try it. I've never used this purple. <gasps> it's so pretty. Oh my goodness. This is from that same company, Carity, that sent that brow pencil. This is beautiful. And I want to bring it up here because we are going to create a fake crease again. Okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, it could be more blended, but yeah, sure. Really what I want to see is if the technique can be done. Same, like, sort of jam. I'm gonna take that concealer brush, gonna put concealer on our hand. I wonder if we can do our same trick. And this time, I'm gonna come mimic the shape of my eye. All right, sick. And then I'm just gonna fill that. I'm just gonna cover all of this purple with concealer. Okay, this didn't mimic the shape of my eye as much as I wanted it to, but it's, you know, it's decent. My camera battery died on me because it was like, we're done with this. Okay, so yeah, this is what we got going on right now. Put some setting powder on there. I want to have some really, really light color. So I'm gonna use this one right here, this hot spot. I'm gonna go in with that and make it all creamy and beautiful, hopefully. This is why I feel like you should go all in with the concealer. It's still kind of murky with the dark purple that we had on up there. But, um, I don't know. Not bad for a first try doing this shape. I'm gonna go back in with like a little bit of black just like the other one. And I don't, I'm just, we don't know. We just don't know. Cause like right now I feel like, oh my gosh, I'm regretting my choices in my life. But then when I was watching some of these tutorials, I felt the same way about them as they were going along and then it turned out beautifully in the end. So maybe it'll be that way for us. I want to add some glitter. This is actually the only glitter that I have in my entire makeup collection. It's this pop color. I got it like two years ago in some package and I never used it. But we're going to use it today. I'm going to use this like old brow angled brow brush and put it right on there. And then I'm just gonna go in here and like dab it on. Are we so pretty? Are we like killing it right now? We're kind of killing it. Whoa, we did that. We did that. I don't know, honestly, I just don't know if it's beautiful. Oh my God, I just wanna do a good job. Did that, did that work? Did that, did it work? Cause if it worked, I'm, I don't even understand. I normally use Kat Von D's tattoo liner and I know she's canceled right now, but like her eyeliner is like really easy to use, okay? Whatever, not as sharp of a wing on this side and we're just gonna have to deal with that. So that's what we got going for us. There's this side and there's this side. Could they be better? 100%. We're working on it, you know? We found a little creative outlet here. I like it, and it's fun. It's kind of like arts and crafts for your face. I'm gonna finish the rest of my face really quick, and then we'll see what we like better, if we like it at all. BRB. You guys always ask what kind of mascara I use in the comments. And it's this one, Tardis Lash Pro, nope, Lash Paint. Tardis Lash Paint. I'm also gonna put on fake lashes just so that you can see what it looks like because I think that's the way that it's supposed to be done. Like if you're gonna go this fancy and this crazy with your eyeshadow, you should probably put on some fake lashes. But I'll have you know, I have such little experience using um, fake lashes that I'm probably gonna mess it up. You've been warned. Oh, we should do some lipstick too. How about purple? <laughs> this is the kind of makeup look where you're like, wow, let's dial it back midlife crisis. Excuse us. All right, lashes. Ooh, these are in a purple case. Maybe it'd be good for it. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Um, mm -hmm. What is happening? Why are these so long? You can't even see my beautiful cut crease with these eyelashes. That's just too long. Like, this is just like uh, butterflies on my face. Does this look good to people? Hello. These are cartoonishly long eyelashes. Do people wear these just like this? How about you chill out a little bit? I don't know. I don't know about this. Okay, I got these other ones from Wink XO. These are a little bit more natural looking. They're called Meow. Okay, okay. Yeah, these are a lot more natural. Still dramatic, but just more natural so you can see all the work that you just did. I'm not digging this shape of this eye, of this cut grease. Oh my gosh, it's tasty. This is how the intros to all the videos go. Like slow-mo. <laughs> I'm so funny. That's what I've been obsessed with lately. That's how I've been doing a cut crease and then posting on Instagram stories and never showing anybody else in the real world ever. I think if you were to do a half cut crease, you just kind of take the black and blend it a little bit so that it only half of your crease is defined. Kind of like, you just kind of like, meh, meh, meh. Instead of this purple here, it's just like, bleh. We're doing black instead. There, like so. And then you would have a, a half cut crease. We did it! I hope you enjoyed this. Instead of Tasty Tuesday this week, um, Tasty Tuesday will come back next week, probably. Also come back on Thursday, because we have a sticky show on Thursday. And that's as much as I have time to edit. In a week, I've uh, realized I can only edit up to three videos. Working on it working on it. Subscribe so you don't miss any of this. I will, um, let me know in the comments if you like this, if you want me to share more things that I'm kind of just into at the moment. I'm really into making stickers too. A lot of people have requested a sticker making tutorial, which I don't know if you're ready for. I love this. I love this. I'm never leaving my house. No one's ever gonna see it, but I love it. And I hope you have a nice day. I hope you're having a really good day and week and life. And I hope you're, I hope everything in your life is going well. And you know what? Just Continue that. I hope you have a really great week. See you next time. Oops, forgot to put the highlighter on this brow. It makes a difference. Yeah, that makes a real big difference. Sorry. Sorry about it. Okay, bye.